Hello, my name is Lukas Vogel. In this presentation, I will give you a very brief overview about our paper from files to streams, revisiting web history and exploring potentials for future prospects. In our paper, we analyze the historical reasons why the web is file-centric, why this will potentially become a significant performance problem in the future, and how we can improve the situation. This is a joint work of Thomas Springer and Matthias Welisch. Our starting point is a very simple observation. Users love fast web content. Therefore, those who deliver web content and other stakeholders in the web ecosystem do a lot to present the users the requested website as fast as possible. For example, Google reportedly uses the loading speed of websites for ranking pages and search results. If the loading time does not meet the expectations of users, they leave within just a few seconds. This has a measurable economic impact. However, the content of web pages has changed drastically over the years, which challenges fast content delivery. While the first web pages were mostly text-based files hosted on a single server, web pages evolved rapidly into a mixture of various content types, from multimedia to real-time applications, and even entire operating systems hosted on a distributed delivery infrastructure. This change in content also led to significantly more complex websites, including data and more code. Looking at the historical data of the total web page size, captured by the HTTP archive, it becomes apparent the web pages grow significantly in size, and this trend does not appear to stop. Simultaneously, the loading time, in this case the first content displayed to the user, takes roughly the same amount of time as it took more than five years ago. This stands in contrast to the expectations of users. So the question becomes, what is the problem? Why haven't the many changes in the web ecosystem not result in a significant improvement of presenting content to a user? In our paper, we explore the changes in technology over the last 30 years and aim to understand why these changes happened. We visit the history of both how websites are delivered from a server to a user and how content is prepared for delivery and presentation. We found that both components evolve separately, which prevents full performance potential. We also identified key problems that resulted from their independent evolution. Lastly, we present one potential solution which uses streams, which could greatly improve the loading times of websites in the context of their ever-growing size. Thank you.